Welcome High Brain friends. It's Monday the 17th of August. Three weeks of annual leave are now over and it's time to get back. There are going to be quite a few changes over the next couple of weeks as we prepare to uh, come back together for worship, at least some of us, and continue with online worship as well. I'd like to thank all of those who have made daily contributions during my time away uh, for the psalms and prayers, uh, which I'm sure have been encouraging. I have switched off, so um, I can't verify that, but I have heard uh, that they've been very good. Thank you so much to those of you who have made sure that the life and ministry of Highbury has continued so effectively during the time that I've been away. I do appreciate it. Psalm 8. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what are mere mortals that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Lord is in uppercase letters. And behind that word is the name of God, Yahweh. I am that I am, I will be what I will be. God who has a name, Lord, Yahweh, is our Lord. Sovereign, King, Ruler. And his name is Majestic royal throughout the whole of the earth. And though not everyone will sing his praises, there's a guarantee that children and infants, that those who are humble, will recognize God, our Lord, the God who is named Yahweh, that his praise will be sung and that his enemies will be silenced. This psalm, um, as I've been praying it, brings to mind some experiences that I've had. 2005, March. I was staying with an uncle and aunt in a very remote area of Alberta. It was a dark, clear night and I looked up into the sky, no light pollution. The Milky Way is just that, a white streak across the sky. It was awesome, amazing. And then 2016, standing shoulder to shoulder with my brother and looking up at the sky at Greenwater Lake and seeing shooting stars. And after I'd gone to bed, my wife and sister-in-law, they stayed up into the early hours of the morning watching the aurora, the northern lights. The whole of creation is spectacular. I remember too an occasion, I think it was in 2010, in September, being in Dubai and going into the uh, Persian Gulf or the uh, Arabian Gulf and looking up and seeing the moon hanging orange it felt like I could reach out and touch it. The beauty of all created things 
yesterday robbing the potatoes picking some carrots picking and shelling peas and then eating the fruit of the earth so many beautiful things being with my son returning from wales with a heavy anvil in the car and having a spot of lunch at a motorway stop and about six or seven wagtails entertaining us giving us that sense of wow wow but then also being in dundee and feeling the threat of seagulls attacking isn't it amazing that the whole of creation is quite glorious wonderful uh, saw a, a news clip on the bbc of dolphins stampeding a dolphin dash i'd like to think of it as just an amazing sight and yet to know that there are sharks in those waters which can cause such damage which can be quite violent the beauty of creation a volcano which creates mountain ranges is also the volcano that can wipe out humans and animals together and it's part of the created order so much beauty so much terrifying mystery and yet our god the sovereign the ruler has made us rulers not rulers over not rulers made to subdue animals and the created order to serve us but to maintain and to look after to be caretakers of this earth i wonder in my life in my choices in the way that i'm living my life am i looking after god's creation Am I taking care of it? Am I ensuring that his delegated responsibility to me, to us, is being used to its best advantage so that the whole of creation can thrive and live to praise his majestic name? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for these summer months. We thank you for your word for this psalm, which evokes a hymn of praise in us, that you have a name. I am that I am, I will be what I will be. That you are Lord, King, Sovereign, and that your majesty echoes through the whole of the earth through the whole of the universe we call to mind your majesty reflected in the beauty of creation the things that we've seen that have caused a sharp intake of breath jaw dropping awe wow and you made it all so now as we continue our lives through this day help us to keep our eyes open for the beauty that is around us help us to take our responsibility for caring for your creation seriously we pray these things in your name and for your sake amen so i hope you have a wonderful day whatever it is that you're doing god bless you